Shaka from Elon Musk and the real president is whoever controls the teleprompter. And I'm pretty sure most of us already know that by now. It's been like it's over a year and um, we've seen a lot of things. Uh, I mean, we've seen a lot of things. <laughs> we've seen a lot of things. This one is coming from Elon Musk. We all know the Tesla CEO. And he compares um, the current president to the anchor man Ron Bradley because he would read whatever and want sowing inflation as the United States would turn into Venezuela if it keeps printing more money. Yeah, it also happened to Nigeria once upon a time. He said, he said that Joe is not getting anything done compared to DJT. He also said that the Tesla CEO also accused the administration of being captured by the unions. Hmm. Marx then said that the real president is whoever controls the department. I've said that before. He also referenced Will Ferrell's anchorman character, Ron Brogdy, who reads verbatim when <laughs> what was written on his telephone. <laughs> I'm not supposed to laugh. <laughs> God, this, this is serious, guys. This is serious. It's not funny. It's not funny. Because a lot of 300 and something million people are at stake if, if this continues, to be honest. It also says that I don't feel like if somebody were to accidentally lean on the teleprompter, it's going to be like Ankoma is said. So this is what um, caught my attention. You know, um, the Tesla CEO has, li is li has likely um, said he voted more for Democrats, uh, but he re salvaged the whole thing when he said this current administration is so poor that DJT that is Donald Trump, actually his administration was so good that they are so good at getting things done. And that's what matters. Action. Action matters. We don't want words. We don't want um, the media telling us what to do. What we want to see you do is what, what you promised in your campaign. Do it. That's all. It's, it's that simple. But uh, yeah, we, we all, we, we, we've seen that it's not that simple anymore. Especially in, not just in the US, in almost every country in the world. Yeah. And, 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 and that, that caught my attention. That was what actually made me want to make this video Trump get things done that's the difference between the two of them Trump gets things done and do you know the worst part this man is not even a politician I believe that is the reason why Trump gets things done because because he's not he's not a politician I believe that's the reason why he gets he gets things done we also have um we also have comments from the second most richest man Jeff Bezos he said um, that the president's claim were just misdirections and called on the DHS new disinformation board to review Biden's tweets it, um, Inflation began to show in April 2021, meaning that annual increase are now starting from a higher base level. Inflation is as high as it has been in 40 years, as Biden has appeared to lay the blame on corporate taxes and Russia invasion of Ukraine. If it's not Trump's fault, it's on corporate taxes. If, if it's not on corporate taxes, <laughs> it's on Russia invasion of Ukraine. Someone, someone is always to be blamed. Come on, man, be an adult. Take responsibility. That's, that's one step in solving the problem. You have to take responsibility first. So, um, from the teleprompter reading, we all, we've all seen that um, something is actually wrong because this guy just read everything the teleprompter said. Even when the teleprompter says end, it says end. Like, something is going on. And, and some, some say he's suffering from dementia, but I'm not. Are you sure? Are you sure? Because to be honest, this kind of thing can be acting just like what Inside Job, <laughs> the Netflix series. <laughs> the Latin series is talking about, but uh, apart from apart from that, let, let's be real here. Let's be real. Like the the current administration is just is just below par. It's not it's not what the voters actually expected would be done. Every, they believe that once Trump is out, everything is going to be fine. But it turns out that it usually turns out is nothing. Like like it also happened in in my home country Nigeria. Um, um, when when Good Luck Jonathan left office, all of us think that things is going to be better with the new president, and now we 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 suffering beyond measure. Like the the country has gone down the drain beyond. Like we are, we are not even sure we can ever stand up. I'm, I'm I'm not I'm not sure we can ever stand up. The only thing standing us up is our music and culture, and and, and the likes of that. So um, what most people usually anticipate about an election result and, um, and what's going to happen in the future after that election is usually not what it is. There's a particular episode on Nickelodeon that, that, that says what happens every four years that changes nothing. And that's an election. We fight over blue, we fight over red. It changes nothing. The, the only person that, that, that I've seen that gets things done was Trump. And we, I commend Trump for, for that. I, I commend Trump. Now, now we're feeling, we feeling, we feeling the president. We feeling the absence. We feeling the absence of the president. And and 
it, it's, it's the choice of the people though it's the choice it's the choice they made choice based on emotion not by critical thinking and that's where the mistake we had the mistake like it's a deadly mistake is a deadly mistake um so uh this is the end of um the video um you guys can share you guys can like you guys can do whatever you want to do to support and also don't forget to check out my rumble <coughs> it's on my community section there i left a lot of links for you guys to go check it out because of what i post on rumble i can put it post them here on youtube due to censorship so please check it out and love you see you guys next one